USB charging can be found on more and more devices today. We're truly, finally, nearing a time of almost complete adoption. Whether you're an iPhone user who's finally moving off of the lightning port with the recent iPhones, or an Android user who's finally ditching their last remaining headphones or e-reader or Bluetooth speaker or whatever else still was using a pesky micro USB. No matter how you get there, we're now finally living in a time where just about everyone is using USB-C and therefore just about everybody needs USB-C cables. Thankfully, USB-C cables are getting better and better with better looking cables made of higher quality materials, all capable of faster charging speeds than ever. Now is a great time to be shopping for USB-C cables. The challenge is that the cable market is an absolute mess of options, full of unclear or conflicting information and a slew of brands you've never heard of. So I'm here to show you four different cables, all from Anchor, who's one of the top brands in cables, and all of which are made of high quality materials and are highly capable of the fast charging speeds that you crave. These four cables are all capable of 240 watts of charging. Now it's important to note that at this time, you almost certainly will not find any device that will take 240 watts using one of these cables. The next rung down, however, is 100 watts. And we're now getting to the point where laptops are passing that 100 watt charging capability. And I expect that this will continue to rise over time. So in all honesty, a cable capable of 100 watts charging is probably more than enough for most people, but investing in a cable that is more capable today makes sense as a way to future-proof yourself. I'm usually not a big fan of the term future-proofing, but I do find it very unlikely that they will release an electricity 2.0 anytime soon. So let's take a look at the specific cables that I have today. The first and cheapest cable we'll look at today is the Anchor Zolo cable. Now Zolo is a new Anchor sub-brand that is targeting the next generation with practicality and unique designs. I'm not exactly sure how that relates to a cable, but I essentially think of this as an upgraded Apple cable. It's slightly thicker, but it looks and feels pretty similar. The ends are metal, which is definitely a difference between this and the Apple cable, and those ends are also really, really thin. If you have a phone case with a very small opening for the charging port or any other hard to reach port, this cable is perfect. The braided material is also resistant to dirt and stains, which could be great for someone who is particularly rough on their phone charger. I think we all know somebody that falls into that camp. Comment down below if that's you. The included cable tie on here is a very basic Velcro material, nothing special. My only concern with the Zolo is the lack of any reinforcement where the cable meets the connector. This is similar to the latest Apple cables and could wind up being a failure point down the road. Anchor rates this at a lifespan of about 10,000 bends, which may sound like a lot, but is by far the lowest number of the bunch that we have today. The Zolo comes in this white, as well as a black, blue, and pink. There's a three foot version for $11.99, and this is the six foot version for $12.99. For context, the equivalent 240 watt six foot cable from Apple is $29. So it's a pretty solid deal. Next up is one of the coolest cables around. This is the Anchor Flow cable. It's coated in silicon and it is extremely soft. I can almost guarantee that you've never felt a cable quite like this. It feels incredible. The cable comes with an equally soft cable tie, which can be used to organize your cable. Unlike with the Zolo cable, the Flow does have a more reinforced cable end, which should hold up better against bends over time. Anchor rates the lifespan of this cable at 25,000 bends, which is about two and a half times more than the Zolo cable for context. I have a few of these cables currently around the house, and I was happy to pick up one more. I'm actually currently using one to my teleprompter right this very second. Now, historically, these cables only support 100 watts of power. The 100 watt version comes in some really cool colors, like a light blue, a light and dark purple, a light green, and a yellow, in addition to the standard black and white. If 100 watts covers your needs, then go ahead and grab one of those cool colorful ones. Since I only wanted to cover specifically cables that were capable of 240 watts, I picked up this one, which is the newer 240 watt version, which unfortunately is only available in black. 
you can get a three foot version for $16.99 or this six foot version for $18.99. If you just want to have the most pleasant feeling cable around, then this is absolutely the one to buy. Next up is probably the best all around bang for your buck cable of the bunch. It's the Anchor Nano Cable, which shares its name with the Nano Chargers that I've talked about several times on the channel before. I absolutely love these charging bricks as they're cheaper, smaller, and more powerful than most equivalents out there. This 20 watt brick is perfect for charging a smartphone on the go and can be found easily for under $15. They're even color matched to many of the cables, like this blue one, which is pretty sweet. The Nano Cable is a lovely braided nylon material and is even made from recycled nylon, which is really sweet. For organization, the Nano has the same silicon cable tie that can be found on the Flow Cable. The cable ends on the Nano are my favorite of the bunch, with this primarily rubber design with a little strip of metal that goes through the middle with the Anchor logo on it. Anchor rates this cable as slightly more durable than the Flow, coming in at 30,000 bends. It comes in black, white, blue, green, and purple colors, and it costs $18.99 for the three foot version and $19.99 for the six foot one. Finally, we have the newest and most premium cable from Anchor, the Anchor Prime Cable. This cable was released along with a full lineup of Prime charging components, which represents the current top of the line for the Anchor brand. This cable is a good bit heftier than all of the others, weighing over 15% more or an additional 10 grams compared to all of the others. That extra weight comes from additional protective layers, which contribute to the advertised 300,000 bend lifespan. That's 10 times as many as the next closest in our lineup. This is due in large part to the hefty reinforced rubber connection points where the cable meets the connector. It also advertises the ability to operate in extreme heat and cold between negative 40 degrees and 176 degrees Fahrenheit. So I would never personally say that a cable is indestructible, but let's just say that this thing should last much longer than what comes in the box with your latest electronic device. Best of all, it does all of that while still utilizing recycled nylon, just like the Nano. It also has my favorite cable tie of the bunch, as it doesn't have a bunch of excess material like all of the other silicon ones. The Prime is, unfortunately, only available in this black color, and it does command a premium price for all of its premium construction. It's $25.99 for the three foot version, and this six foot version goes for $29.99. Now, every one of these cables has something slightly different to offer. If you're looking for a discount while still holding up, the Zolo may be perfect for you. If the tactile feel of your cable is paramount above all else, the soft touch of the flow is honestly unbeatable. If you're looking for the best bang for your buck all around cable, I'd say the Nano gets my vote. It's also got cool colors. And if you're looking for premium, rugged, best in class performance, that's the Prime. There's really a little something here for everyone. I don't think you can go wrong with any of these cables. If you'd like to pick one of these up, there are links in the video description to do just that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.